The church has often been called a hospital for the sick. And the Western world is more sick than ever before. Not just with COVID-19, but with a pandemic of fear. Likely end up infecting most people in Very the world. Very concerning. You're concerned? Very. Coronavirus panic shopping. Yet for the first Sunday in history, many church buildings look like this. The virus has church after church. Thousands Thousands canceled Sunday services, Sunday services because of the outbreak. will be suspended. What does this mean for the church and for the world? If the church is a building, then what happens when they're closed? If it's an event, then what happens when they're cancelled? And how do we respond in a world that has never looked so shaken? But could this actually be the church's finest hour to be what the Bible calls us to be? Because the church isn't a building and it's not an event. You see, even in the midst of this unprecedented global pandemic, I just want one pack. This is the church. There's no toilet paper in the entire store. We are handing out toilet paper. God bless you. Thank you very much. In the midst of the fear, this is the church. In the midst of isolation, we need to talk about this is the church. The church is awakening. The church is resilient. The church is adapting and discovering new expressions for the gospel to reach further than ever before. We've got a total lockdown. Our church, we're going to gather over Zoom and then we're actually going to FaceTime our friends and family and share the gospel. I'm checking to see if my neighbors need supplies or prayer and I'm also using Facebook to reach out to those that I can't get to. Driving home on street corners. My fear seems to be crippling. There is a hope in Jesus Christ. And everyone can do this right now. Be true. In a troubled world that needs Christ, it's time to be His hands and feet. Christians, it's time to be the church.